think of culture, we tend to think about material products of human civilization and or variation of traditions, rituals and beliefs between different human populations. And of course, these are products of human culture. But does culture distinguish humans from all other animals? Are any other animals cultural? If so, what makes humans so different? Evolutionary anthropologists are uncovering the mysteries to these questions. The term culture is actually quite new and was developed during the Enlightenment as a way for European colonialists to describe differences in human behavior in different parts of the world. As the concept evolved, many scholars thought it to be a defining characteristic of our species. But is it? Are there behavioral patterns in animal communities that evolve and are transmitted in analogous ways to the patterns observed within and between human societies? Clues that we were not the only species to possess culture came from early studies of our closest relatives, chimpanzees. In the 1960s, primatologist Jane Goodall observed chimpanzees at Gombe Stream National Park making and using tools. At the time, humans were defined as man the toolmaker. After she told her mentor, paleoanthropologist Louis Leakey, about her discovery, he said, we must now redefine man, redefine tool, or accept chimpanzees as human. Of course, under any taxonomic classification scheme, it would be silly to redefine chimpanzees as humans. So we instead reclassified our species. We were now specified as bipedal hominids with big brains. We were no longer the only species that made and used tools, but did that also mean we were not the only species to possess culture? As the top evolutionary scientists in the field pondered this question, it became evident that culture was more complex than had previously been thought. What was culture exactly? And if our closest relatives made tools, what else could they do? Researchers, without a clear grasp on what it meant to call a non-human cultural, started to refer to chimpanzee behavior as pre-cultural or proto-cultural. However, others were convinced that their behavioral observations indicated true cultural behavior. But if primatologists were to attempt to break down the barriers between the human and animal worlds, they first had to understand what it was they were defining. Primatologists proposed that culture was a combination of socially learned traits that distinguished one group from another. Although still debated, both biologists and anthropologists now broadly accept some version of this definition. Now that there was a growing acceptance that animal culture existed, and primatologists had a working definition, researchers wanted to find out how complex chimpanzee culture was. In order to do that, they employed the method of exclusion. By using the method of exclusion, primatologists would document behaviors between groups and then infer whether what they were observing was cultural by eliminating any possible ecological and or genetic explanation for its occurrence. A big breakthrough in this research came in 1999 when several evolutionary scientists from six different long-term chimpanzee field sites compiled their behavioral data and attempted to determine how much cultural variation there was between chimpanzee populations in Africa. Their results were startling. They found 39 different behavioral patterns, including tool usage, grooming, and courtship behaviors that appeared to be socially learned cultural traditions. For example, chimpanzees at Badongo, Mahal, and Thai Forest performed rain dances whereas chimpanzee groups including those at Gombe and Cabal had developed cultural traditions for inspecting wounds and removing parasites. There were also characteristic cultural feeding patterns. Chimpanzees in the west broke open nuts with anvils, and chimpanzees in the east appeared to fish for termites more frequently. Social traditions also varied culturally. Some groups had different clasping hand grooming rituals, and other groups had complex knocking knuckle courtship rituals. These results indicated that not only were chimpanzees cultural, 
but the complexity of their culture was without parallel throughout the rest of the animal kingdom. However, these data also revealed more interesting questions. For example, if chimpanzees have such complex cultural traditions, then what makes humans so different? Just like other sciences, the answer to a big question in evolutionary anthropology usually leads to even more interesting and perplexing questions. Love evolution? Want to continue learning about what it means to be human? Please subscribe to our channel. You can also find great content on our blog and podcast via theadvancedapes.com. Or maybe you have a question. You can contact the Advanced Apes on Facebook and Twitter. And don't forget to join the discussion below on YouTube or in the discussion community on hubski.com.